Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has been engaging with comments, likes, and subscribing. You know I appreciate it so much, as we enjoy the number one game in the Sims franchise, The Sims 2. So we are back in Belladonna Co. for another apartment building redesign, and today we're actually getting two for the price of one, because our teen clients are actually the Cho and the Riley households. Vivian finds being a single mom challenging. Work is demanding and when she gets home, Etsu wants all of her attention. Vivian still wants to find true love again. She wonders if she can find time to spend time with that nice man down the hall. When Timothy Riley moved to Belladonna Cove, he wanted to start a new life and make a solid future for his daughter. Then he met Vivian Cho, and now he hopes they can join forces. He thinks Sally would enjoy having a little sister. So let's go in and check them out. Okay, and here we have Vivian, who is a family sim, although she would make a really good romance sim. Uh, Libra, yeah, I strongly feeling romance him. When Vivian's husband died in the line of duty, she thought she'd never love again. So when she met Timothy, she was surprised how easy it was to get to know him. She's impressed by with what a good father he is to Sally and hopes he and Etsu will find a similar bond. And of course, Etsu here is a toddler looking towards being a romance or a popularity sim herself someday. Etsu is be busy doing what toddlers do best, playing. Snuggles, tickles, kisses, and a few kind words from mom, and this toddler is as happy as can be. She loves getting attention from her friend, Sally. So they have the first floor unit, which is two bedrooms, one bath, and all four of the units have the same floor plan, if I recall. It's been a while since I've been in this, but yeah, they all have the same floor plan. And here we have Timothy and Sally. So Sally is looking like she'll be a fortune sim someday. And Sally likes having her father to herself. She's working hard to do better at school, so he'll be proud of her. Although she thinks Etsu is cute as a doll, will she be open to having new members of the family? And then we've got Timothy, who is a knowledge sim but again another one that i feel would be really good as a romance timothy and his wife were quite the team of brains they were both devoted to their careers and doing well the freak electrical accident that ended her life was devastating to both he and sally uh, that's bad grammar it would be to both him and sally he knows that they need to look to the future, and he hopes Vivian and Etsu can be a big part of it. All right, this is me being a grammar Nazi. Uh, it should be, like I said, to him and Sally, to both him and Sally, because him is the objective pronoun modifying the preposition to, okay? The more you know. All right, so like I said, this is another two bedroom, one bath. They're pretty much identical floor plans. So that's what we're starting with. I'm gonna get them evicted and then start with the redesign. So after being evicted, the Cho's have 44K and the Riley's have 68K. Now, one real thing to, it's really important actually to evict apartment families before making any changes. Unlike any other household, if you don't evict apartment families before making chain changes, you are opening yourself up to a lot of hurt because if I were to make changes to the Cho's household without moving everybody out, then the Rileys visited the Cho's, it won't show as the Rileys are visiting and vice versa. So you do have to evict absolutely everybody. So redoing the tech terrace for the Baldwins was the first time I had done a redesign of an apartment building, an in-game apartment building in a very long time. And I forgot that instead of using the bullprop apartment base lot 
specific tools disabled false cheat, I should have actually gone with change lot zoning residential. And the reason is this, let's go into the buy mode, miscellaneous dressers. And if you page over, you'll see that I can't add closets. Closets are completely gone. So I have to, if I want to use closets, I have to change lot zoning. Otherwise there will be no closets. And yeah, so that's what we're doing. So I have to do that, then exit to the neighborhood and then re-enter. So after exiting to the neighborhood and saving, our closets are back in the dresser file where they belong. So we're ready to get started. Now I did actually use the lot adjuster to get rid of all the furnishings. So I don't have to worry about that. The first thing I'm going to do with this build is actually get rid of the roof and also this stupid trim on the roof, which makes absolutely zero sense whatsoever. And I'm going to replace this trim with walls because I have a different idea as to what I want to do here, which does not include a regular roof. I might have a flat roof, but it, I am going to have a fifth story on this build. So we will go ahead and do that. And just to remind you, if I want to add another story, I'm going to go ahead and grab the dormers tools and act like I'm going to put it in, then take it out. And now I can very easily just go ahead and add that back in the way I want it. So that is my fifth story plus a flat roof currently. All right, so I can't guarantee that this is the final result, but oops, I did not want to do that. But this is what it's going to look like for the time being while I decide what else I am going to do with this build. Now, most of these are almost identical, but not completely identical floor plans. And that's fine. I will probably make them completely identical, but then again, I might not. We will decide as we build. There will still be four units, not five, even though I added a fifth floor because I am going to create something for Vivian and Timothy as a family unit, which will be a two floor penthouse, so to speak, which means I have to have some other things happening. So there we go, we'll get our ceiling tile in as our temporary flooring situation and then start brainstorming as far as what I intend to do with their overall building space. And I need to get rid of that little closet, which I apparently I forgot to remove. Okay. So we are going to keep the same basic idea, not the same floor plan, but the same basic ideas of floor plans in that they will each be two bedrooms with a closet each. One, two, three, four, yep, right like that. This will be the kitchen slash eating space over here and main living space. So that will be the floor plan for the first three floors. And so when it comes to the penthouse that I'm going to make for Cho Riley, since that's eventually where we are going with this, I am going to first actually do the upper floor. We're going to have two very good sized bedrooms over here and a bathroom here, three by four bathroom, and another three by four bathroom. I know these are so much bigger than I normally do, but bear with me. 
this right here will be the master bedroom, the closet for the master bedroom. And this is actually the bathroom for the master bath. Okay, and so then we are going to have a flight of stairs leading up to this. That's not where that goes, right there, I think. Yes, that's exactly where I want that to go. And I will actually have this open to below. So that's the upper floor. And now the bottom floor is going to be relatively simple. Right below the same, basically a load bearing wall. This room will be the family room. This will be the formal dining room and this will be the kitchen and the main floor bathroom and then the formal living room. So that is the floor plan that we have for all of the floors. So now it is time to take a look at our newly redesigned Sentinel Apartments. The first thing I did before choosing how I was going to design it was I looked at the area around it. And even though this building actually didn't come off as very bohemian at all, the area around it clearly is bohemian. So I decided that was what I was going to choose for it. So I didn't use only the bohemian collection and I didn't use everything from it, but I definitely used that as my design inspiration for it and chose this exterior texture for that. And honestly, it really reminds me of an industrial rustic artist loft compound that existed downtown in my own hometown until it burned to the ground in a five alarm fire. Speaking of fires, I am a big proponent of using lots of fire alarms all over your builds. And I would like to confess that I did not know that if you put a grill inside a sim house, it's pretty much guaranteed to burn. I legitimately have never tried that before. So let's explore the grounds. We do have a grill over here on the left side of the building with a bit of a picnic area for those Saturday building parties. There's also a really nice garden area and a good sized playground. It's about the same size as the playground always was, but it's oriented a little bit differently. And then there is a little bit of a side yard over here with the willow tree and some benches for reading, romance, and relaxation. Now, what typifies Bohemian is not a specific furniture style as much as it is fearlessness. Fearlessness to combine colors, textures with absolute disregard for the rules as it is. So there does need to be something that brings it into a sense of cohesion. And for every unit, the cohesion will be a themed color. For this, it is the golds. And I do have the Nouveau pieces in here. So you will notice that the upholstery on all three pieces, the sofa, the love seat, and the chair are all upholstered differently, but they have the same wood tones but there's different wood tones throughout because again, it's not about everything being matchy matchy. It's fearlessness, different textures, different styles, everything. Now the kitchens are relatively bland comparatively. And every unit has a small balcony with a ballet bar and a telescope. Then as we go back through into the main room, there's an easel over here and then directly to my right over here, there is a upright piano. 
And then there are three doors off of the main room in addition to the kitchen. The first is what I like to call a grow with me room because it will work for everything from a newborn through a teenager. And this is yellow with the complementary color of purple as its theme. Boldness in color, boldness in patterns, and even a bold ceiling. And the bathrooms are basically all appointed differently with different colors. So this is the yellow to gold bathroom. And then the larger of the two bedrooms. Again, I wouldn't call this master bedroom. It's just the larger of the two because there is not an adjoining bathroom. But this is an analogous color scheme. Analogous is being next to each other on the color wheel. And this is actually very boho because boho is typified by very stylized naturalistic themes. Now in leaving the first floor apartment, we do have the spiral staircase here right where it is. And I did enclose it as I do. And on to the next unit, which is themed in blues. And I did try to lay out the furniture differently, even though the floor plan is identical for all of the units. I tried to give them each some character with different floor plan. So we've got different things. Again, a lot of floral textures because that is very boho and bold choice of colors. So the stark golds against the blues are all very, very much into that. And not a huge emphasis on high-end electronics because a boho is also going to focus on creativity and mixing and matching and fearlessness. So yes, this is a country look, but it's okay. Be fearless. So the smaller of the two bedrooms in this unit, again, it's a child's room, but it's bright stars and everything. Now I don't have a whole lot of custom content, but I do have some recolors like that dresser. I just got that recolor and I absolutely adore it. The color here, all the blues with the country look works very well. In the larger room, a complementary color scheme. Brown is actually orange plus black. Brown is a tone of orange. Okay, and on to the next room, or the next unit, I should say. This is the red unit. And I would say of the three smaller units, this is my favorite. It's also the most truly boho in my estimation. Again, a lot of complementary colors. and fearlessness, not afraid to use different textures. I mean, because here, look, we've got the very sophisticated high-end wallpaper with the country curtains, because why not? There are no rules with boho, none whatsoever. And the smaller bedroom is definitely a country-themed bedroom because we can. The bathroom is very, very statementy. With that particular very bold color choice. And then the larger bedroom. Florals. Artsy. 
and using very, very rich, saturated hues. So after the three one floor units, we make it to the first floor of what is ostensibly a penthouse apartment. So this large, very formal sitting area with the piano. Now over here is the first floor bathroom. And then the kitchen. Yes, there is a breakfast bar in the kitchen, but this particular unit does have a formal dining room that leads off of the main room or adjoins the kitchen. Now, you know I do like to use a dresser as a sidebar, and there is an actual bar over here. And then over here is the more informal entertainment area. And then from there we go back out into the main living area and up the stairs where we have a hallway with four doors. So we will go to the first door on our left and it is one of the two smaller rooms. It's actually the same size as the larger room in all of the other units. Now, all bedrooms except for the master bedroom on this floor have a wall closet. The master bedroom on this floor has a walk-in closet. So the next door is a bathroom. Now, right here, we just have a vanity area. And through the vanity area, we have toilet, shower, and bath. So we have a walk-in shower, a toilet alcove, and a bath alcove. back out into the hallway. Across from the other bedroom is another children's bedroom, another grow with me bedroom because it has room for infant to teen. And again, a closet. And then finally, the master bedroom, which uses those very bold, rich colors, recolors of the Bon Voyage stuff. And there is the small balcony out here. And of all these small balconies, there is actually nothing out here. And directly next to the balcony above the powder room downstairs is the walk-in closet. And on the far side from the closet is the master bath. So we have the bath alcove, the long vanity, the walk-in shower, the toilet alcove, and there's a door leading out onto the balcony. The staircase is enclosed here because we can't have the staircase come up here, you know, for apartment reasons and logistics. But there's a nice place to get a snack and have a coffee in the morning. And there is a observation deck upstairs, but in order to get there, 
the people who live in this unit would actually have to go downstairs in order to go upstairs again. Now there is a basketball hoop that I tucked into the chimney and it should work because I've tucked basketball hoops in all sorts of strange places. So let's put our two families in it. Okay, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and put Vivian and Etsu in. All right, and there were two apartments that could be included, but we're gonna go ahead and take this one right here, rent that furnished, my dear. Yes, we do want to rent that furnished apartment. Thank you. Perfect. Getting along with the new landlord, that's amazing, but it's raining out, so let's take the little one inside. And this little girl doesn't have any wants at all, but that's okay. We'll put her down for a nap and hopefully she'll have something happen after she wakes up. Now somebody's playing my piano. That's great. And why don't you get a bottle for the baby and maybe tell Shay to leave. Now, he might be a high-class guy, but you know what? Can you please go away? I have a baby. And now, why don't you put Etsu in the crib? And now we're going to check on Timothy and Sally. Okay, and what would we like to do? Either move them into an empty apartment or merge. Let's go ahead and move into an empty apartment. All right, Timothy. There we go. Sally's discussing her future dreams of being a lawyer. And when I play, I do rent furnished apartments, but I actually take money away from my Sims to make it make sense. Sally is a sportster, so that's cool. And why don't you go check out Vivian's place? So some things are missing that I know should be here in this build and I've noticed that happens whenever I play apartments and he can go ahead and why don't you make out with her? Let's talk about our time cards and working at a factory, but maybe let's get a makeout session in with this girl. Super chemistry. And now they're in a crush mode. I love that for them. And you know what? Why don't we propose an engagement? Not something I usually do on my... Okay, they're engaged and he's not feeling that. He's like, did I, what did I just do? And let's give one of those closets a try. Oh good, music and dance, we love that for you, but let's give the closet a try. That should raise our relationship. Let's just go ahead and ask her to move in with us because... Because it might just be easier to, for us to share one big unit. Thank you. Okay, we should probably get the baby, take her upstairs. Vivian, why don't you do that? And I forgot to check out whether or not the basketball hoop works, but it does. And Vivian is also a music and dance enthusiast. We love that for her. And Timothy, why don't you put Etsu here? Hey, blah, blah. You will stay nice and fit, always walking up all these stairs. Fourth floor walk up. Sally and Etsu will 
play a little bit together and raise that sisterly relationship. And Timothy, why don't you greet the headmaster with a kiss, kiss, darling? Hello. There we go. And 17 schmooze points. Let's actually give him a tour of the place. Welcome to our beautiful home. Why don't we show you this room? Yay, that's awesome. Okay, let's uh, walk over here and show you this one. Smell the lovely spaghetti and meatballs. 25 points, doing great. Why don't you serve this spaghetti and meatballs? Timothy, why don't you go here and show him this room? Chrono! And great job. All right. So actually, why don't we have dinner? And why don't you eat? And Vivian, why don't you eat? look. Sally, you want to grab a plate? Oh, Okay. Oh, we are so close. Look at that. Six. We need two points. We need two points. Okay. Timothy, why don't you schmooze about... Ooh. Hopefully. Mm. Schmooze about school? Oh, you literally lost points? Are you kidding me? Why don't you just talk to him? Okay. And why don't you talk, chat, and... See, pray. All right, and why don't you actually change topic to politics? Because I know you have a very high interest in politics. Change to topic to politics. There we go. Schmooze, we got it. We got it. Okay. There we go. All right. That's great. Congratulations, Sally. You're in school. Well, I think that this will do well for the family. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. VK out.